Welcome back to The Gray Escape. This week, we're building a box for my window AC unit. Let's get into it. First thing I did was cut a bottom for the box out of a piece of half inch plywood. The idea was to support the bottom of this box with the framing of the bus, so I had to cut out some notches for the uprights. I also chose to add a piece of framing on the side. Then it was time to cut out the side of the box. Again, I had to cut out some notches to make sure that it fit where I wanted it, since this is also going to act as a stringer to hold up the bottom of the box. Okay, so I apologize for the lawnmower in the background, but this is the box that I am making for that. Um, but this is what I've got so far, and nothing's actually uh, stuck together here. Um, I need to attach this piece of framing. That one's already attached. This is um, going to be the base. I had to cut it around that. And this one I had to cut, sorry if you can't see, around that, I'll have to seal that gap later. Um, and then we're going to do a big old vent out the back of here for the heat and a vent here for the intake. Okay, so I cut the first hole in the bus here for the register that's gonna go on the side for the intake. I need to cut one on the back here. And um, so I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that. Firstly, I figured out where I wanted the grate to go and drill a hole in the corner so I can see from outside where I need this to be. I also made a template. Always, always make a template. Let's go outside. All right, so in order to make it square, I'm using a framing square alongside the store here. And there's the hole that I drilled from the inside and I drew a 12 inch line to the other end. So that's going to make this register square with the store, which is about the only square thing on the back of the bus. Alright guys, that is the hole that I've cut, and this is the vent that is going to go right here for the exhaust for the window unit. 
So I've added this uh, liner in here. This is actually just a uh, shower curtain. Um, I looked at the shower pan liner and not only was it way too thick, but it was way too expensive. Um, but what I've done is I've put this board in the middle here that the unit will sit on and there's gonna be a moat around the unit to help drain the water off because I couldn't really angle this and um, the bus being on an angle anyway, the water is kind of just gonna sit until we move the bus if the bus isn't angled properly. Now I put a hole here, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a hole here and it's small and I've stretched out the shower liner a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and feed the tube through there. So what I'm gonna do is take this tube and feed it down through here and um, it should pull and stretch the shower liner a little bit. And also I've put some uh, silicone sealant in here so that when I push it down through there, it should um, seal that to the sides of the hole. So here is the box as it stands now. This was a ridiculous amount of hours of work. Um, so I have insulated this entire back wall, insulated in here and around all the way out. And then I kind of created this box that is going to separate the exhaust from the intake. As you can see, there is still about an inch and a half of depth in that moat underneath here. Um, so there should still be no problem draining the water. Um, this uh, face here is actually going to meet up exactly with this face here. So it'll be at the same level as the bottom of this grate. All right, I have placed this in place. I did have to move it to the left more than I had anticipated because of these. All of the, it's hard to show you, all of the outgoing hot air is inside that box. And um, I know you can see a little bit of light, but that's actually coming through the tape. There is tape here and it's that metal <laughs> tape. So um, yeah, I know you can see light, but there is not any space here. And so the next thing that we have to do is just put a face on it to uh, make this intake and exhaust completely separate from this intake. The exhaust on that side is already completely um, cut off from the inside of the bus. for about 10 minutes now. I just put the face frame on and plugged it in. Um, eventually, I'm going to put an outlet here and have the plug come out here and go right into the outlet. That way we can use the reset function that's on the plug. All right, let's test this thing out. All right, the air going into it is 93 degrees. Air coming out of it. And all I have right now is a meat thermometer, but <clears throat> that'll have to do for the moment. It's 90 degrees in here, it's pushing 71.8 degrees. That's awesome. So I'm real excited about that. Let's go check the outside. I guess we'll check this intake first. I've taken the uh, grate off of it so that I can uh, pull the plug through here, but like I said, eventually the plug's gonna go in here, come up, and plug in right there. Um, so this is the intake for the intake for the exhaust. All right, 
we got 90 degrees going into the intake for the exhaust. Sixteen degrees coming out the exhaust here. So that all makes sense. That's about what it should be. So I think we're about done with this project. I am waiting to see the condensation come out. So I've got that up there and actually I gotta put this down through the floor where it belongs. And I'll have to cut it off at the proper length later. All right, and I'll have to adhere this to here whenever I get a chance. But, um, ooh, I wanted to show you guys one more thing. I also drilled a hole right here, and as you can see, that is a relief for the water, which is coming out here. And uh, once it cools up enough, it'll run off into the moat underneath all of that. And get this piece of metal out of here. And it'll go down into that drain. It's right back here. So that's the drain. And as you can see, this drain is already doing exactly what it's supposed to. So I'm really excited about that. And the last thing I gotta do is just trim that and then we'll be done. Future me here. Same shirt, different day. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that I did actually install this uh, outlet for the plug. That way I can utilize this test and reset function on here. And this goes up into the box. And I do uh, have plans to put some silicone in there and seal that later when I do paint this whole unit. But I just wanted to show you guys the updated photo of um, this having been installed and uh, that way we can actually run it off of our solar system. So there it is, all put together and running, cooling my bus off. Still gotta be uh, touched up and painted. This area up here is actually gonna be covered by the ceiling when we install the ceiling and the, the wall over here when we install the wall. And once this is painted, you won't see any of these markings or anything like that. So it's running, it's doing a really good job so far. Um, it's only been running about five or 10 minutes, so it's not quite cool in here yet, but the air coming out of here is uh, much, much, much colder than the ambient temperature. And oh, I feel so bad. So uh, very rewarding day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like it if you liked it, subscribe if you wanna see more.